desktop management, there's quite a few facets to it. You know, number one is uh, the patching. So man service providers like to patch the desktop because that's really the entry point for phishing, ransomware, identity theft. So we try to patch that. And there's um, quite a few different ways to patch now. You patch the operating system, which means you patch your Windows 10, Windows 7 computer. Um, there's the third party, which has actually become more important. So like your um, Chrome, your IE, your Firefox browsers, because uh, most of the people are really surfing the internet with their computers, so you really want to patch those. Um, and the third one, desktop management, is really controlling the desktop. So at least on the corporate level, what we try to do is um, restrict access for the end users. Um, so whatever they don't need in terms of access, we'll restrict it. But certainly they have enough to do their day-to-day -day work, but they can't install additional programs without permission. Um, so that prevents spyware. So if you accidentally click on something, but you don't have permission to install, there's a good chance that that spyware won't install as well. Patching is updating the operating system of the desktop, be it a, a Windows base or an Apple base, and also patching any third-party applications, especially the ones that provide internet access like your browsers. Very important to update Chrome, your Firefox, um, and then Adobe. Adobe is infamous for all the security exploits they've had. Desktop management really benefits people connected by a network. So it, it could be a small office, 10 computers, 20 computers. If you're connected, then you really want to manage that environment because it's very easy to spread ransomware or you know viruses and whatnot. Um, less so if you're all remote users just using email and Office 365, it's harder because if you're working alone, most you're going to affect is any other computers on your home network. Um, so to a lesser degree, but certainly if you're in a corporate environment, um, in a shared environment, you definitely want to control that. If you'd like to learn more about desktop management, please read our blog or white paper at linkhigh.com.